Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out more Peep Show, and I'm really wondering how Mark is going to handle the Johnson situation. Because the dude loves Johnson, and Johnson is pissed at him. So I wonder what's going to happen. What is he going to do to make it worse? That's what I should say. What is he going to do to make it weirder and make it worse? He's going to do something stupid, I think. Or he might just get put in a doghouse at work and then slowly have to earn his way back up. Something like that might happen, but I just don't see that happening. I just see Mark like doing something goofy to make it weird, to try to like you know get um, to earn Johnson's confidence back. I mean, Jez screwed up with Big Susan in the last episode, but, you know, Jez is just so goofy. I don't see that really impact him too much. I can just see him messing around with another, one of the other girls from the series, like, jumping back. Well, what's that girl's name? Tony could pop up back in the picture. He might mess around with Tony. I forget that new AG girl with the, the blonde hair. He might mess with her again. Or the chick who, I think she pegged him, didn't she? Like, the chick who I thought was, uh, like, a replacement for Tony, but she's a whole new character. He might end up messing around with her again. You never know, man. Jez is all over the place, so... I'm not thinking about Jazz. I know Jazz is going to do something goofy, and he always does something goofy. I'm wondering what Mark is going to do that's going to be super weird, man. I'm wondering. They're both kind of weird. Let's just see. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so I'll see you at the office then. Yep. Uh, everything all right? Yep, fine. Sure. Oh, that's it's what not I good. said about her trainers. She shouldn't have asked me if she didn't want to know. They are a bit clumpy. <laughs> so moody. I'm marrying her. What more does she want? What, what are you doing? It's just clumpy. Doodles. It's a logo for when people are in touch about doing baseball caps with my initials on. Well, exactly were you going to tell me about? Oh, my God. It's from Matt Townsend. Who's Matt Townsend? He's only the best personal trainer in South London, according to Johnson. He's got a window. Jeremy, he's got a window and he's opening it for me. Mark, are you having some kind of mental breakdown? Just joining a gym. Get some exercise and, and some time. Not away from Sophie, just without her. My new life has begun. Everything is going to be different. Well done today, dude. You slacked off a bit on the treadmill at the end. Remember, Mark, a champion is someone who gets up even when they can't. OK? OK, yeah. That's probably exactly the kind of bullshit I'm going to need to believe in my new life. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was your basic programme, but maybe we should talk about any special Very goals. Of bullshit. My goals? <laughs> Does hiding from my fiancé count? It's fine, just a couple of normal guys. Oh, great, here comes the no. inevitable massive dong. Just look away. If I don't look at it, it can't hurt me. <laughs> sound over the moon. Oh, no, God, I'm, I'm over the moon. You're not taking a shower? Oh, uh, no, no, I, I shower at home. Well, it's good to, you know, it clears the pores after a workout. Sure, yeah, I'm down with that. No, it's just at home I have a system. A system? Yeah, it's complicated. Uh, I don't want to waste water, so I have my own methods. But they're all totally normal. I'll explain them to you sometime uh, over a beer. See you Friday. See you. Oh, that was horrible. Now he probably thinks I'm embarrassed about the size of my penis. When in fact God. I'm not. I'm much more concerned about my misshapen scrotum. Hey, Corgan! <laughs> your ass is hanging out. Tuck it in. Forgot about his oh balls. Oh, my God! Nancy! I didn't know you were... I, I mean... I haven't seen you since... Uh, yeah, since I see. took off after marrying Jez. Jesus, what's that man doing? I should do something. If decent people like me do nothing, then what? Then they'll come for the trade unionists. Although that, to be honest, wouldn't really bother me too much. Hey, I know that weird run. Jeremy? Mark? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I got a bit drunk and posted that stuff to Big Steve's. Oh, and then I sobered up and sort of had second thoughts. God's sake, Jeremy, that's the post you set fire to. The Royal Mail. That's like I know that right. burning a swan. Oh, shit. Nancy. Hi, Jeremy. This is so... Wow. I didn't know you were even back in the country. Well, here I am, in the country. Oops, better be going. Nice bumping into you. Yeah, we should get together. You know, have a drink, reminisce. About what? The time you screwed the next door neighbor right after I moved in? Or the good times. You know, the Robin Williams DVD marathon. Come off it, Jez. You said he was a moist-eyed camera hogger. Or our wedding day. I mean, that was a happy memory. Remember that? Wifey? She's gone. They weren't good. Still, try again tomorrow. She'll probably feel a whole lot differently. So, can you give me another guest pass? Another one? It's important. They're worth 14 pounds each. I've only got three left, and I'd like the option to give one to someone else. <laughs> Who to? One of your friends? Yes, one of my friends. Or I might need one for an emergency. Oh, come on, mate. How am I going to see Nancy again if you don't give me a pass? She clearly hates me. Well, maybe you should take that as a sign. I'm yeah. not giving up that easily. Faint heart never won fair maid. Right. The epigram that starts the Stalker's Manifesto. 
perfect. Job at the gym. Just like the way people fuck each other in prison. Oh my god, Jess. <laughs> stupid. And very long hours. I like long hours. You have to clean the toilets and pull the hair out of the plug holes. I like that. It sounds interesting. It's not interesting. I find that stuff interesting. Are you writing a novel or something? Don't want to seem overqualified. What's a novel? Clean bill of health. I, I did think I had ringworm once, novel. but it turned out to be a cigarette burn. Massage. It's part of the warm down. Oh, right. Great. If you just want to get onto your back uh, to start off with. There isn't any chance at all I'm going to get an erection, is there? <laughs> oh, my God. A man's hands all over my naked body. I'm so tense. I'm like God water damn. for crystal. I'm going to smash into a thousand pieces. <laughs> Could be any more positive about the marriage? I uh, do. Um, uh, yeah, kind of. I'm not going to get back with you, but if we're working together, I guess we may as well try and be friends. Exactly. We'll be friends. Like the friends on Friends, who were such good friends, they got bored of being friends and started screwing each other. <laughs> so, um, what's new in your world? Well, I'm really into judo at the moment, and the instructor here, Matt, is a hundred degree hottie. Uh-huh. Great. God, I'd really love to bone him. Well, that's what you should do then. You should bone him. I'd like to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Must remember, watching someone you love having sex isn't that fun. They have these sandwiches, but they don't come from shops. They make them themselves. I make my own sandwiches, Jeremy. Making your own sandwiches is not an indication of a gritty life on the never-never. It's like Titanic. You're upstairs in your starch collar, or I'm down below decks dancing a jig with the Poles and the Africans, having a better time than you could possibly imagine. Just make sure you clean up in the changing room toilets. There's a big pool of rusty water by the urinals, and it turns my stomach. So tonight, why don't we all go to the cinema? OK. And why don't I invite Matt double date? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, do you really want to take the risk of asking him? There's a chance Fuck. he might just laugh in your face and call you a slag. Right. God, no. Um, why don't you put in a good word for me with Matt, and I'll put in a good word for you with Eva. Great. Okay, we'll set it up for the staff party on Thursday. Thanks. You're awesome, Jez. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm awesome, all right. I'm an awesome shit. I'm the cuckoo in the nest, the python in the toy box, and quite possibly the man of your dreams. Um, I've got a message from Nancy on reception. The gorgeous blonde. Yeah, she says she's seen you looking at her, and she thinks you're disgusting. Oh, oh my God, Jeremy. Shit. Yeah. She says you stare at her like a sex offender, and if you keep <laughs> doing it, she'll call the police. God. Well, she did smile at me once, so I just oh, caught her eye. <laughs> Can you tell her I'm sorry? God I'll tell her. But she says Jesus. if she sees you doing it again, she knows some bad dudes, and they'll... <sighs> Do you even want to know? Well, I better. She says they'll rip your cock off and stuff it in your mouth. Jeez. Sorry to be the messenger. Don't shoot me. No, dude. No, thanks for letting me know. It's cool. I got your back, dude. And I've got your hairy plums in the palm of my hand. Fucking jazz, man. So, um, how's it going? Enjoy the party? Not really. Matt spent the whole evening looking straight past me. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Uh, as a matter of fact, I did, yeah. How'd it go? What did he say? I probably shouldn't tell you. Oh, come on. Please. He said he's not really into anything serious at the moment. He's looking for, quote, unquote, a fuck monkey. Fuck <laughs> monkey? He said that? Yeah. And not even the good kind of fuck yeah. monkey. A I fuck can't believe monkey. he would say that. Men do and say horrible things. I know I have. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Go to the pub with Jeremy. Don't go to the pub with Jeremy. Ask Sadie out for a smoothie. Yeah, but why? Well, you need some more options now things are going down the shitter with Sophie. Right, yeah, but be a bit quiet, maybe, Matt. I'll relax, fat boy. <laughs> now, come on, let's take it up a notch. Let's rock it all the way to the top. Now, relax, fat take boy. Some more? Do you want some more, do you? Do you want it? No! What? No, oh. I, I don't want it. I knew why? he was going to break. Fuck off. <laughs> you too hard. I can hardly fucking pedal. No mountain is that hard. It's just not realistic. <laughs> Oh, God, I he's got the duplicate. news, 
one affecting me and the other affecting you. Which do you want to hear first? We need to get rid of Matt. Yeah, get rid of Matt and fast before Nancy asks him out. We need a clever plan. What, what would de Botton do? An evil Alain de Botton? Kill him? There's an incinerator around the back of the gym. De Botton wouldn't kill. We're not going to kill him. We could say he poos in the pool. Hmm. That's, that's not beyond the realms of possibility. He'd definitely get the sack for that. Plus, what kind of a freak would do that? It should screw his chances with Nancy for good. <laughs> yes, could work. Although, I suppose, I mean, one of us would have to... Pool in the pool? In, in the pool. Nah, we we'll just lie. Shame, in a way, because I've always kind of wanted to poo in a pool. Really? I did not know that about you. Item found in the pool. Oh, my God, he actually... He couldn't resist. <laughs> Did you see Matt Townsend do this? Well, I, I didn't actually see him, but I, I have my suspicions. Why? He, he mentioned to me that he likes to do that. He did? Yes, he, he said he loves to do that. OK. I'll have a word with Matt. My apologies. But... Uh, I'm sure we can straighten this out. Not straighten out. Sack the innocent man. Uh, there was that other thing. Another thing? Yes. The other thing. Remember what you told me? About your knob? Um, oh, uh, yes, um... Yeah, let's I, make I, this I, worse. I didn't want to mention that, but... Uh, uh, Matt, he... Touched my penis. Karen, could you ask Matt Townsend to come to my office immediately? Oh, God. They say I did a poo in the pool. And I... and I touched him? <laughs> Can you describe exactly what happened? God Scott? damn it, these dudes. He was uh, giving me a, a massage and uh, he, he was going up I legs and my thighs and and then he touched my penis and, and then he, he rubbed my penis quite a bit and and i said stop <laughs> he wouldn't stop mark why are you saying this i don't understand <clears throat> because, oh my god this is so full of it's shit true. please don't do this this is my career you should have thought about that when you were touching his cock <laughs> oh god this is all so horrible Maybe it would have been simpler just to kill him. I should know how to kill someone oh by God. now. I've watched enough CSI. They're so bogus. <laughs> I can't believe they got rid of Matt. Oh, no. They're so bogus. He's a pool pooer. You know what that means? He poos in the pool. Shit, Matt. Oh, he no. He wants to punch and kick me. And he's come somewhere where he's allowed to punch and kick me. Uh oh Mark. Matt, I thought you weren't working here anymore. I can still come to classes. Do you mind if I cut in? Oh, no, I'm a complete beginner, so... <laughs> Leave me alone. Mark, just fight him. We're in a class. He, he's not going to hurt you. He is going to hurt me. You're pathetic, Corrigan. Do you know that? A pathetic, flabby worm. He's here too. Oh, that's great. Thanks a lot. It's, it's all right, Jez. You, use your woman as a human shield. Matt, violence never solved anything. Love thy neighbour as thyself. Yeah, exactly. Fuck off. Well, you can't stay hiding there forever. He thinks we can't stay hiding here forever. He really doesn't know us at all, does he? For that one. <laughs> Both of them are cold-blooded, man. Jesus. These guys come up with the worst sch schemes all the time. Ugh. Like the whole thing, like the scare Sophie, when they're like calling on the phone, pretending to be like murderers or whatever, and she ended up like shooting them with the BB gun. Oh, man. And then they went to go beat up all the super hounds, and, um... Cause she was messing around with Tony. He was messing with Tony, yeah. And then then the peppers ran each other. Oh my God, these just have the worst plans. They destroyed the dude's entire career just so he can get a girl back. Just so Jess can get the girl back that he screwed things up with. And so Mark's and so Sophie won't find out that Mark they want to be with her. Oh my God, <laughs> did it? They hide behind their women. Cold thing, man. These dudes are doing some trashy stuff now. Oh my god. Well, they've already done... They've always done real goofy stuff anyway, so... This is stupid. This is a good episode. It was funny. And dumb. Jesus. And they went pretty low. 
for sure. All right, man, that is it. This is a funny episode. It's a goofy episode. I'm curious to see what freaking happens next, man. They didn't bring up any of the whole Johnson and Mark thing, so I guess nothing's going to happen there. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Like, and, well, Nancy's probably probably back in the picture. Who knows? Like, then I'm guess she's going to be back, uh, back a little bit more. Um, I wonder if Tony ever comes back, like I mentioned earlier, or that other girl who I thought was a replacement Tony. I can't remember her name. Um, but, yeah, man, just wonder what's going to happen next with everything. Mark at work, the whole shebang. When is Nan... And, and, and Sophie's going to have to find out. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I know Sophie has to find out in one of these episodes. And I can see that going crazy. Um, I can see that being an insane episode. I mean, that is it, guys. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.